Hey everybody, Original Ren here from the forums. Today I am doing a Community Spotlight video series, and I'm going to be highlighting in the Fan Translation Ongoing Project section the Koi Suru Natsuno Last Resort Project. Now, MDZ, a member of our forum, is the main man behind this translation project, and I just kind of wanted to go through some of the things that you can check out uh, for it and what you can expect. Um, I wanted to highlight this because he's um, doing great at this. Um, the progress of this is being updated every week um, in this actual thread right here, and also just the the speed at which it's being done is quite incredible to me. I also wanted to do this one because I'm a huge Kokoro Function fanboy. Huge nerd, as you could tell, me and Mephisto are currently working on Asagos route for live translation on my YouTube channel. But um, this was the man behind Mina's route, um, Asagas of Mina-san, and she, uh, well, I don't know. I never actually went down her route, so I don't really know what her story is like, but uh, nerd is quite interesting. So we'll jump right in here. Let's kind of give you a lowdown of the project. So currently in this thread is the Koisuru Natsuno Last Resort Project thread. Uh, this has all the details you possibly need um, for information about the project. Um, if you actually click this banner here, we can go to his main site, which I'll do in a little bit, but I kind of just want to give you the summary of his main post here. Um, you have all these different girls. This game was made by Pulltop, by the way, for those of you who are unaware. Uh, Pulltop is responsible for If My Heart Had Wings. Um, Cocoa function, and then this one here, which I plan to get this when I go to Japan. I can't wait. But um, here are all the characters, and it kind of gives you, you know, it gives you a synopsis and kind of a trailer behind it and um, a preview of the translation for how they're doing it. Um, anything you constantly need. Do you have a uh, contact info that you can get him um, a hold of him by checking him on the site, his email? Um, I know I have contacted him personally. I was actually interested in helping on an editing position in this, but just due to my own projects and everything else I was working with it I just did not have time but um, he is a very responsive person will respond right back to you usually right away so if you have any questions for him about the project feel free to he also has an IRC I haven't checked out his IRC um, but yeah that's pretty much it I know actually one of the project people um, who's the engineer for this project binary fail <laughs> helped me with um, I was commenting on subtitles for the podcast recently, and he um, found a way to do that, and I might have to actually ask him for information about that as well. But anyways, uh, why don't we check out this main project um, by clicking his site here and going to his, his main page, MDZ's main page. And I'll kind of just give you a little a spotlight for it. I recommend checking out this project. I recommend playing this game. Uh, just based on the synopsis alone and the beauty of these images, I really like Pulltop's artwork, by the way. <laughs> um, I would recommend it, but maybe this might not be for you. So when we get into the main page here, um, it kind of just has his main page for his translations. And he has the Kokoro function translation, which he was doing, and then No Last Resort. And uh, it takes a little bit for the images to load, but comes up with everything here. Um, kind of talks about who the progress, or sorry, who the uh, staff is on this pro project right now. You have MDZ, uh, Binary Fail, which I was mentioning, uh, Jim Hunter's their image editor. Zero Rec and Crouching Moose are their editors. Um, if you need to see a live updated progress chart, you can click this right here for their project. Um, this site is very, I like this, it's a very simple site, it's very pretty. Um, he talks about recruitment and how to get any position. Um, speaking of which, recruitment wise, um, all down here you can get your attachments, but uh, MDZ is always looking for people for his project from what I've heard. Um, even if they have all these positions filled, I'm sure he could use the extra help um, or you can inquire to him about those questions um, based on what I've seen him written in, in our personal emails ex or exchange of emails and um, in the actual thread. Um, so you have a summary here and then you can click this little live updated progress chart to go right to it. And that links you literally to a Google Doc that gives you everything you need to know. So the percentages of what they're doing, um, how they're working. As you can see, they're still recruiting for um, uh, translators, um, a translate checker. They don't have one, so they are looking for a translate checker. Um, I recommend doing that if you guys are good at translations. Hey, jump in on that because he could definitely use the help. Um, seems like they're that's one of their priorities. Um, but obviously, most projects are still recruiting uh, translators and everything else that they possibly need. Um, looks like Zakamot's on this project. Huh, I didn't even know that. Interesting. Um, yeah, so you have all the little progress updates um, of what you need to know. And everything about the project. Sweet! So you can go to that, and if I go back to his main page here, and check some of the other stuff, uh, you can see also on his site, just MDZ as a person himself, uh, he has a Twitter. Um, I don't have a Twitter account. I don't ever get into Twitter, but he has a Twitter with all uh, live tweets, all the updates um, every week, or when the progress happens. Um, 
I didn't sign in there. But this was just uh, replied about eight hours ago. So you can see all the translation progress and the current percentage of how far they are. And, you know, you can find anything else you need to about just the project in general on his Twitter page if you follow that. In addition, back at the main site here, we have who MDZ is all about and what this website's all about. Excuse me. So if you click the About page here, it talks about his staff for the website, who MDZ is. Um, Infinite Destiny helps him out. I can't even say that. But, um, yeah, so talk about his project, too. In addition, MDZ also does reviews, um, and I didn't even know he had a co -curl function review until I checked out this site. Uh, but I should probably read that sometime. Apparently he's in love with Mina, but I haven't played her out yet. Um, he also has reviews he does for visual novels and anime, so if you actually click this, it's very well organized. I was checking this out. You can just click any visual novel here that he's read, and he kind of goes into details about them. So I can be like, oh, co -curl function. And I click it, and he's like, Mina's best girl. I, I'll have to... I read it. It's interesting. Nobody likes Idri, apparently. I don't understand. I didn't think she was that terrible, but I guess whatever. I mean, she did have six H scenes. It was a five. I don't remember what it was. It was a lot. But, um... So, yeah, anything you need to know about the project can be found on here, and also just, like, what he does translation-wise. Um... You can click both of his projects. Um, he's a really cool guy. I haven't really gotten too much time to talk to him, but in the emails we exchange, just the small exchanges, um, he's really friendly. He replies to emails, and all the information you need will be posted on the thread page. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, what do we got on time here? No, it's just about a seven-minute video just highlighting his project. You guys should check it out. They're looking for a translate checker right now. I definitely recommend that. Um, this is a good project, and I'm personally, I did this one first just because I'm really looking forward to it. So um, that's it, guys. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching the review, and I'll catch you later. Bye.